A patient today asked about the use of Depakote or valproic acid in bipolar disorder. Depakote is a medication that's been used for decades in bipolar disorder, and specifically it's FDA approved for acute bipolar manic episodes. And so I'll use it in patients if they present in a mania or hypomania or mixed state, and I know I need to bring them back to a, a euthymic or stable mood state. Often patients will also be left on Depakote or continue or, or be prescribed Depakote when they're in a euthymic state if they tend to move to manias or hypomanias or mixed states um, frequently. So it may actually prevent someone from moving to a, um, a manic state. Uh, Depakote is also used and has been used for years as well in different seizure disorders and also for migraine um, headache prophylaxis by neurologists as well. Depakote is unique in that um, it's one of the psychiatric medications for um, mood stability where you can actually check blood levels. And uh, patients that fall within certain ranges, usually about 100 um, micrograms per milliliter um, of valproic acid, um, that tends to be the right dose for a lot of patients out there. Um, or a provider may be able to keep track of the blood level that got a patient well and then know that they want to, in the future, try to keep the patient's blood level at approximately that same uh, concentration. So that can be helpful in terms of dictating dosage adjustments while pa when the patient's on this medication or a patient needs to be started on this medication. Um, Depico works by um, increasing GABA levels. So GABA is your major inhibitory neurotransmitter in your central nervous system. And so it calms down or decreases uh, uh, neuron excitability. Um, there are the potential for various side effects. And some of those, some of the more common side effects would be an upset stomach when starting the medication, tiredness when starting the medication. I'm just feeling a little bit off or a little bit woozy. Um, that, those side effects tend to go away with time. They tend to be transient. And after three or four days or after a week or a couple of weeks, they tend to no longer be an issue. And so that's one of the reasons why you may start the medication at a pretty low dose and then slowly titrate it up um, as a patient is tolerating a more typical dose. Um, some more significant side effects, it could cause elevations in liver enzymes. It would be rare that it could actually lead to liver failure, but that is possible. It can cause um, pancreatitis. It can cause thrombocytopenia or low platelet counts. It can cause some weight gain. And for all these reasons, your provider is gonna to want to monitor your liver function tests, blood cell counts, uh, and some basic other um, uh, do some basic other tests on a routine basis to make sure that you're tolerating the medication well and you're not doing any damage to your body by being on the medication. Um, hair loss is also a common side effect of this medication and that um, although it may seem um, inconsequential for a lot of individuals, it's a reason why they may actually stop the medication. As mentioned, Depakote, with all that being said, is a great medication for many individuals and many individuals tolerate it very well without those side effects. So the important thing is just that you're properly consented, you know what to look out for, and your provider knows what to monitor when you're on this medication. I do wanna mention that um, Depakote is contraindicated in pregnancy, and so if I have a patient who is sexually active and of childbearing years, I'm, I'm gonna be really direct in terms of saying that they need to be sure that they are either not sexually active or they're utilizing barrier protection um, methods to prevent pregnancy or on a birth control and taking it diligently to prevent pregnancy because it could cause neural tube defects for the developing, um, developing fetus. And so that is something that really you don't want to take lightly. It's a potential side effect of the medication. There are obviously other potential side effects. And if you believe that this video pertains to you in any way, please be sure to reach out to a mental health professional directly uh, to schedule an appointment um, as these videos are informative only and not to be meant for medical advice for anyone out there.